We have just completed a uh, strip assembly for a box terminal. And uh, let's say that, that, that this strip was for quoting purposes. And now that we got the job, we need to make sure that the geometry or flat blank geometry is correct because we took a little bit of a shortcut when we're creating the creating this strip initially as you can see on this area formed area right here when it's flattened out it would not look like this it would not be straight so first thing i'm going to do is go to the configuration manager and change the display state so the part looks like an assembly again not the join part then I'm going to open up the reference part, the part with the station marks. And this, this is where the uh, change is going to be made. So I'm going to roll up in the feature tree. Let's see, it's still flat in this state. If I roll up one more station mark. Okay, that's where it gets bent. So I'm going to roll back down again. And if I show in the first video, I had flattened this part using the FEA portion of LogoPress. And if I show the sketch for that flat blank, you can see, yes, the ends of this uh, formed ear right here, well, after they're flat, they're tipped up on each end. So I'm going to scroll back down and I'm going to roll up. Okay, that's the boss extrude feature for where we filled in the flat areas of these lofted forms. So, first thing I'm going to do is I need to delete this body. And, but before I do that, I'm going to take and create a surface, a reference surface for this coined area. So, I'm going to use local press faces merging. Select those three faces. Now I got my imported surface right there. And now I can go to direct editing and use delete body to delete that. Then I can scroll down below the boss extrude feature and edit the sketch for that boss extrude feature. First thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to, oops, I'm just going to delete this. Don't need this. Those sketch entities. And then I'm going to sketch in a line from here up to here. And then this line, if, if I measure this, this is about 80,000, so really close. And I'm going to, going to offset this entity. 80 thousandths in the other direction. And now this sketch, I don't need to see that anymore, so I'll just hide it. Draw a line across, and point to end point. And I'm going to trim this line. So now I can take and mirror these entities over to the front. And then trim these little ends right here. There. Now I have an enclosed shape. Exit sketch and extrudes. There we have our flat. Now I can uh, take and cut this coined area back in. So I'm going to that imported surface right there. I'm going to use the SolidWorks surfacing tool cut with surface and we have to make sure that this arrow is pointing in the right direction. Either you can click on it or click this. And now this surface I don't need anymore so I am just going to go back to direct editing delete body and delete that. I also need to add the coins back on the bottom right here. These were, if I measure this, 30 degrees, and the distance, the height from here to here is uh, 8 thousandths. So, 
Okay, so I'll just use a SOLIDWORKS chamfer to do that. And let's select the edge. And I need that to be 8 thousandths tall. And okay, the arrow right here is saying 8 thousandths in this direction. I need to flip that. So it's eight thousandths up and down. And let's see here, 30, nope, wrong way. There we go. And I also need to click on the edge on this side. There we have our chamfers on the bottom again. And now I just need to start rolling down in the tree, make sure there isn't any features that have errors, just like this one. This is the fillets. We added the fillets on, on the flat blank in all the corners. You can see we have some missing edges. Of course, we got that because we extruded new geometry. You can see it's right there, 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 and there. So I'll delete these out of the list and reselect them. Click OK. Got our fillets back. I'll keep going down the list. And that unbending is for this uh, lance form. See that? I expand it, there's a start limit sketch that has issues, and it just lost relations from the new geometry. These two are construction geometry here and here, so I'll just take and reconvert them. Delete those, go convert entities, and I'll select there, there, and there, and this one and this one. Construction, exit sketch. There, that updated. Keep going down. Delete face. This has an issue, so I'll edit it. And that is for deleting these coined areas. Of course, these are new geometry. That's why they got lost. There, that fixed that. Delete face, that was for the grippers. And I go down one more delete face. And that has an issue, that's for this coined in end right here. So I'll edit that, because this is new. Click here, and here's a SOLIDWORKS tool. Get those two extra faces. Roll down to the bottom, and there we go. And you can see there's our flat blank. Coin that wire grippers, chamfers on the bottom, lance form on the end, and form up. So everything looks good. Roll down, rebuild, make sure all the body files are up to date. Control Q to do that. Okay, save the part, and go back to the strip assembly. And Either while in the strip assembly or the annex part, I can select update the stations of the annex part. And it's going to re-import re those body files into the annex part, the updated body files. And now we can see that that geometry is now updated into the strip. But we have some errors and some cutting punches, which is to be expected because we have new geometry. And that's that punch and this punch. And we will correct that geometry for those two punches in the next video.